And good evening, everyone, and welcome to another high school basketball event. This time we are here at the Nick Nickel Gymnasium here in Griggsville, Illinois, as tonight we are set to bring you the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes against the Western Wildcats. Just finished up the JV game where the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes came away with the victory. I'm Damon Emmerich here alongside Tim Hall and Eric Lister to help bring you this broadcast. We're going to take a two-minute timeout when we come back. We'll set the stage for this one, tell you a little bit about these two teams, and get ready for high school basketball. We're back after these. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account. Plus, ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, West Central Illinois, are you looking for a great deal on a vehicle? Well, at West Town Ford, we have a lot full of vehicles, cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. We've got them all, and a lot of them, at West Town Ford in Jacksonville. Seed selection is one of the important decisions required to achieve yield goals. Logan AgriService represents top seed lines in the industry like Lewis Hybrids, Stein Seed, and AgriGold, and focuses on products developed to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Sit down with one of our experienced local seed experts who will work with you to help select top producing corn hybrids and soybean varieties tailored for your specific soils and fertility levels, or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1962. Grab the game while your kids are busy. You know, streaming, gaming, and homework. Now you can teach your kids the value of a dollar by showing bundles with Cascom. Bundle telephone, internet, and TV. Bundle two for a double play or three for a triple play. Plus, save $20 a month for three months for a limited time. Then you can tell everyone how you help them with their math homework. Call Cascom about bundles today at 1-800-252-1799. Cascom at 1-800-252-1799. There's a road that makes all the difference. The difference between the good and the great. The road less traveled for the few who can handle the grind. One of hard work, dedication, integrity, and leadership with a respect for heritage and tradition and a willingness to adapt. At Little Jess, we travel that road every day because we believe in that difference. And we dare our competition to try and keep up. Little Jess, serving the tri-state area since 1969. Here in Pittsfield, we're focused on maintaining a healthy, diverse economic base to increase opportunities for our residents. Economic factors greatly affect a community's overall potential, and we strive to continue our prosperous culture. The availability of both commercial and industrial employment centers and new lucrative entrepreneurship opportunities are major assets for growth and development here in Pittsfield. In addition to providing employment and income to people, Pittsfield also boasts several tax incentive districts to further facilitate economic growth. Examples of growth and success can be seen throughout Pittsfield. Pittsfield is located within Pike County and widely known for the abundance of white-tailed deer and is also home to companies that have capitalized from the region's natural resources. Located over on Madison Street, Whitetail Properties is a major local and international employer that truly embodies the local and economic spirit of Pittsfield. State-of-the-art communications and telecommuting are available here. Be sure to catch their televised series throughout the week on the Sportsman Channel. Come grow and be a part of something great in Pittsfield, Illinois. 
Welcome back to the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Great Rivers Bank, with locations in Pittsfield, Barry, Liberty, and Hannibal, is here to help you with your lending and personal banking needs. Our friendly service and dedicated loan officers can help you through buying a home, opening a business, or making a deposit. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Well, it doesn't get much better than high school basketball on a Friday night, but we got a big weekend ahead of you as for the first time ever, Central Illinois Sports will be carrying all four classes of the seventh grade girls basketball state championship. Again, classes one through 4A will have a total of 24 junior high girls basketball games on air for you tomorrow. And then we will also be carrying the eighth grade girls basketball state championships next weekend. Grateful to be able to have that partnership with the IESA. None of that, of course, would be possible without all of our great sponsors, including Great Rivers Bank here on the pregame show. Western Wildcats coming to this one off to a slow start on the season. They played the West Central Cougars there earlier this week to a close game before West Central ultimately pulled away. But West Central comes into this one with a record of 0-5. The Griggsville Perry Tornadoes with a 3-0 record on the season, this being their fourth game of the night. They just played the Carrollton Hawks last night, ultimately pulling away with a 15-point victory. Griggsville Perry here, more of a senior-laden team, this Western Wildcat squad. Even though they've got some guys with varsity experience and the guys that have played a lot of varsity experience, still a younger team with a new head coach on the season that they are learning his system and how he wants to operate. Tim Hall here alongside Damon Emmerich. And Tim, first time we've got the chance, you've, I think you've seen Western this year, first time I've got the chance to see them, but this is a Western Wildcat squad, got a new head coach in Reese Dunker, who's coming in and really trying to get guys to buy into his system. Wasn't that many years ago that Reese was out here playing basketball himself. So what is it that he has to do to get buy-in from his squad? I think just, you know, bonding with the players in general will help that. And I think not letting them just walk all over you because, you know, you're a younger coach and they had a coach of probably 10, 15 years before. So they were like really like, he was like really uptight. They were all gonna listen to him, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, a new coach, younger coach, they're not gonna listen as well, but you gotta just make them listen to you and just tell them to trust the process and you guys will get those wins towards the end of the season, get that regional. Move, out, move farther in the postseason. Yeah, it's important to establish the system that you want to play and get guys to buy in. And of course, Coach Reese Dunker also has Lloyd Phillips, a veteran of many years in the basketball world, on the bench to help him. But, you know, for these guys, it's about playing hard, learning the system, figuring out what we need to do. And the big key coming down, coming into the season right now, 0-5, you can't get down. You've got to be patient. Find a way, and when, when you get that first win, then hopefully the dam breaks and it keeps going. Griggsville Perry Western here, Friday night basketball on Central Illinois Sports. We're going to take another timeout. When we come back, we'll give you a little bit more info on these two teams and get you set for the stage. We're back after these. I like hard work. I mean, I kind of was raised that way. You really do make a difference. You're, you're helping ship out food to feed people. Someone's got to do it, and I don't mind doing the hard work of it, you know. That gives me meaning, and I do go home rewarded. Every time I drop off a pallet, it's kind of corny, but I look back at it with a sense of pride. I'm like, yep, I built that, it looks awesome, and then I just drive away. I love it. When my life needed meaning, I chose Doc. We do a procedure called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and we call it TAVR. TAVR is state of the art. It wasn't really available worldwide until the early 2000s. It's a minimally invasive procedure in order to replace the valve. I'm number one. I was number 100. Years ago, they would have to do open heart surgery, and now they don't. Had I not had it done, I would not be here today. I feel like I'm living on a bonus of blessings. Make your dream kitchen and bath a reality with help from Pike County Lumber. We'll create a design to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Quartz countertops, quality onyx that offers dozens of colors. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. You're getting thirsty, bold, refreshing. 
So good. <clears throat> I mean, dude. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project, from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. Are you short on time or budget, but your family is hungry? It's time for the Maya Authentic Mexican Restaurant in Pittsfield. Try the Maya Special, a crowd favorite. Delicious grilled fajitas, steaks, nachos Mexicano, salads in the tortilla bowl, the tastiest salsa and cheese sauce around, and the fastest service anywhere. You can afford it. It's the Maya Mexican Restaurant on Washington Street. Call ahead with your order and you can pick it up in the drive through 217-285-4526. The Maya Restaurant. Restaurant in Pittsfield. Since 1921, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who share this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point. Together, we are a strong, united community. Welcome back to the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. If you're in the market for a new home loan, talk to the ex experts at Great Rivers Bank. With locations in Barrie, Pittsfield, Liberty, and Hannibal, we serve the entire region and beyond. Check out our online loan application at greatriversbank.bank. Mem member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Well, Tim, Western Wildcats here, as we talked about, come into this contest with a record of 0-5. When you look, talk about this Western Wildcat squad, I think one of the key players that you have to focus on if you're Garrett White and the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes is obviously the 6'3 junior Mason Smith. We've seen that Smith has been able to put, put up points in bunches from the time that he stepped onto the court as a freshman, and he has got to be the top guy on a scouting report anytime you're – planning to play this Wildcat squad. Yeah, whenever you're playing a guy like Mason Smith, you know he's 6'3", so he could be a post player for any team, but he's also can shoot from all around and dribble and all that kind of stuff, so he's a, he's a good player, and you got to just contain him and just hope that he doesn't score those 20 or 30 points that he's capable of. Yeah, and I think if it's a night where he's just on, the big key for the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes, too, will be locking down on the other players for the Wildcat squad, including Case and Tobias, the six-foot junior, who we've seen been able to put up points in a hurry as well and does a nice job out on the floor for Reese Dunker squad. On the other side, for this Griggsville Perry Tornado squad, they are a senior-laden group. They'll start five seniors, bring a few more seniors off the bench, and this is a group that has had success in their basketball careers. And what they have to do coming into this season, and they're off to a good 3-0 start, but they have to manage expectations because a lot of people in this area expect this Tornado squad to be one of the best teams in the West Central area. They have high expectations for them, but if you're Griggsville Perry, Tim, how do you go about, if you're Coach Garrett White, getting your kids to focus on one game at a time and not worrying about how, what our record is or how many wins we might get this season? I think having seniors all on your roster helps with that because, you know, they, they've been in that times where they've been having a role all through the season and they've been later in the postseason. And I think the thing that they need to do is they need to uh, convince themselves that they that this next game is the last game of their season and they just keep on going and th that's always the last game because then that will make you seem like, oh, we can't lose this game, it's our last game. Yeah, and we've seen for this Tornado squad so far on the season, again, only played three games, 3-0 three and oh on the season, but they've had guys that have led them in scoring – Throughout the throughout each game, been a little bit different. They've had a balanced scoring column, and really, so far for Garrett White in this squad, Wyatt Lipquin, who averaged almost 18 points a game last season for the Tornadoes, hasn't quite got going yet. Had one game of double, double figures, but only averaging about eight or nine points. But he's allowed his teammates to let the game come to him. And I think the big key for Wyatt is he's got to knock down a shot or two early and kind of get that confidence built back up because we've seen that he has the ability to put up points in bunches, as do several of these other Tornado ballplayers. 
Yeah, he does. And I, I saw him play a little bit last year, and I and I think he scored maybe 20 or 25 points that game. And it was after he scored, right at the beginning of the game, he got himself rolling. And once once you see basically any of their starting five, six guys start rolling, they're going to keep on scoring and scoring and scoring. And they're a dangerous team whenever their guys can get rolling. Yeah, and this is a Tornado squad that really relies heavily on their defense. They want their defense to lead to offense. They want to try to get fast break points, and they want to get out and try to run as often as possible. And that may be something that Wyatt Lipkman needs, just get a few steals early on and maybe get a few buckets. Griggsville, Perry, and Western set to tip off here shortly. We're going to take another timeout here on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. When we come back, we'll give you the starting lineups and play-by-play. -play. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217-222-7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You've heard that phrase many times in Rod Prentice in Pittsfield. Your State Farm agent is the guy you can count on to be your friend and neighbor in the insurance business. He has a complete line of insurance available for you from State Farm Insurance. You can reach him at 217-285-6930. Our family trusts Rod Prentice with all of our insurance needs. Stop by their office on Washington Street and see the girls in Rod Prentice, your State Farm agent, 217-285-6930. Back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show, getting you set here for action between the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes and the Western Wildcats. One young tornado that wasn't able to be here tonight. Been battling the flu bug all week. Freshman Ryan Phillips, want to send out well wishes to him. Hopefully he gets back on the men and is able to join his teammates back here soon. But glad he's able to tune in and catch this one. His, his JV squad picked up the victory early in this one, and his teammates here are about set for action against this Western Wildcat squad. We're going to take our final timeout of the pregame show. We'll pause for the national anthem. When we come back here on Central Illinois Sports, we'll give you the starting lineup and play-by-play. -play. We're back after these. At Full Throttle Parts, we do spray on bed liners, a brand called Patriot Liner. It is very elite. It actually enhances the resale value of anything you put it on, on or off-road. Go Full Throttle! Go full throttle. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. I see. Stotsy Automotive and Tire, located at 201 Adams Street in Camp Point, Illinois, is your local automotive repair shop. Whether you need an oil change, brake job, alignment engine repair, or new tires, Stotsy Automotive is here with honest and competitive pricing. Call Reagan and his team today to schedule your appointment. 217-740-5010. That's 217-740-5010 for Stotsy Automotive and Tire.
Welcome to the Farm and Home starting lineups. Today's starting lineups are sponsored by Farm and Home Supply. From snacks and hoodies to power tools and lawn chairs, no place has, no other place has it like your local Farm and Home Supply. And now for the Western Wildcats who come into this contest with a record of 0 and 5. Under head coach Reese Dunker, assisted by Lloyd Phillips, they will start the following. At one guard, a 5'10 senior, Luke Weir. At another guard position, he is a 5'10 junior, Dylan Ross. At one forward position, a 6'0 junior, Caden Tobias. At another forward position, a 6'3 junior, Mason Smith. And at the third forward position, he is a 6'2 senior, Aaron Vincent. Weir, Ross, Smith, Tobias, and Vincent be the starting five for the Wildcats looking for their first win of the season. And for the Griggsville Perry Tornado Squad under the direction of head coach Garrett White assisted by Keenan Yelliot and Matt Hansen, the Tornadoes come to this contest with a record of 3-0 on the season. They'll start the following. At one guard, a 5'9 senior, Wyatt Lipman. At the other guard position, he is a 5'9 senior, Lane Lipkeman. At one forward position, a 6'1 senior, Eli White. And at the other forward position, a 6'3 senior, Michael Myers. And the fifth starter for the Tornadoes, he's a 6'4 forward, Dane McAllister. Lipkeman, Lipkeman, White, Myers, and McAllister will be the starters for this Tornado squad. The third home game of the season for the Tornadoes as they shut the lights out here for the starting lineup as we're just about ready to get this one underway as it'll be the Western Wildcats. Mason Smith will jump center for the Wildcats. You'll see Smith with the ball in his hands a lot throughout this contest. And for the Tornadoes, we will see Dane McAllister set to jump center for this squad. Wildcats, Tornadoes, sit back and enjoy high school basketball on Central Illinois Sports. Tip is controlled by Vincent of the Wildcats. He drops it off to Weir. Weir's going to look across the time stripe, finally does, gets it into the hands of Ross. Back out top to Weir, being guarded closely, ball tipped away, stolen. Lipkman gets it to Lipkman, into the front court. Lane Lipkman with a quick two, and just like that, Griggsville Perry has their first two points of the ball game on a quick steal from this Wildcat squad. Then it's another turnover against the Tornadoes. Pass from Myers, dropped off to Wyatt. Lipkman free throw on the way after his shot was up and good. It's 4-0 Griggsville Perry. They're off and running, and it will be Wyatt Lipkin to the line looking to complete the and one, but before he gets that free throw attempt, it's going to be a timeout Wildcats. We'll take it to 4-0 early lead here. It's another Adam Fiber timeout. I have to speak to you about something that is uh, concerning me. Heard you and your mother talking about this Arlo fella. You're dating someone? Yeah. Dad, Arlo's the name of the new security cameras that we got from our service provider. Not a boy. Oh boy. Ah, uh, not a boy. Apparently, we just learned that it's a camera named after a boy. Why don't you name it Peter? Wyatt Lipkeman at the line for the Tornadoes looking to complete the and one as the foul was against Western's Tobias. Lipkeman's free throw is up and good. He's got three points, and just like that, it's a five point Tornado lead as it's five nothing. 30 seconds into this ball game. For the Wildcats, looking to get it across the time stripe. Tobias gets it back to Ross, who gets it to Smith. Still haven't crossed the half court line. Finally do on a deflected pass. Tobias gets it left wing to Ross. Back out top to Tobias. Looks to reset the offense. And pass is almost stolen away and is. Turnover number three against the Wildcats. Then a turnover against the Tornadoes. And into the front court for Western comes Tobias. Picks it up. Top of the key. Three-point attempt. Smith up and good. Mason Smith cuts into that deficit. He hits a quick three right there for Western. And it's a 5-3 tornado lead. Into the front court comes Lipkman. He's going to bring the ball out. Top of the key to reset the offense for the Tornadoes. Still has the dribble and gets it right wing to Lipkman. That's to Wyatt. Excuse me, that's Lane. Top of the key. McAllister pass is deflected and... They're going to say out of bounds off of the Tornadoes. So that's a turnover against Griggsville Perry. That's their second. Western with the basketball, a chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. 
Uh, and it's going to be a turnover against the Wildcats. Their fourth, Lipkaman is going to be hit from behind. No foul. Tobias comes down with the rebound. That's his first. Into the front court comes Smith. Three-point shot fake. Myers goes flying by. And then Smith knocks it down. He's got six to lead change. Our first, first uh, lead of the game for the Wildcats is into the front court comes the Tornadoes. Three-point attempt from Myers. In and out, no good. Rebound controlled by Eli White. Shot up for him and good. White's got two. It's our second lead change of the ball game. Nice job by Eli White right there to bring down the offensive rebound, control himself, and go up for the two. And it's a 7-6 Tornado lead, 5.50 to play, first quarter action. Into the front court, that's Tobias. He gets it right wing. Smith, another three from the same spot. That one's no good. McAllister with the board. Into the front court comes Lipkin. He gets it to McAllister running the four. Dane McAllister's got his first two. And it's a three-point tornado lead. Nice job by McAllister to come down with the rebound and beat everybody down the court. As on the other side, Griggsville Perry gets another steal there. Fifth, Lipkman gets it to Wyatt Lipkman, who is going to be fouled, but it's going to be a called on the floor as that will be the second foul of the quarter against the Wildcats. That one will be whistled against Dylan Ross. Garrett Woodward, the six-foot junior, will check into the contest for the first time for Garrett White as Michael Myers will take a seat. Lane Lipkin will be the inbound man underneath. Looks to get it in. Does out top to Wyatt Lipkin. Gets it right wing. Back to Lane. Puts it on the floor. Attacks the bucket. Shot up and good. He's got four and it's back out to a five-point tornado lead. Matching their largest lead of the contest. Ross with it in the backcourt. Picks up his dribble and gets it to Tobias. Tobias gets it Cross court to Smith. He brings it across the time stripe. Skips it left wing. Tobias puts it on the floor. Loses it. Turnover against the Wildcats. They're sixth. Into the front court comes Wyatt Lipman. Splits the defense. And ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. And they'll say it stays with Griggsville Perry. 4.57 to play here. First quarter action. Myers back in. White takes a seat for the Tornadoes. And Myers will be the trigger man underneath his own basket at 11-6 PCRE real estate and auction scoreboard McAllister gets the inbound pass to Lipman up top finds Myers coming across the middle shot deflected rebound comes down to Dylan Ross that's his first Ross gets it to Tobias who gets it into the front court to try to get it to Weir but ball's going to go out of bounds and it'll be a turnover so we're just over three minutes in seven Wildcats turnovers We'll see checking into the first time in this one, Jed Abney for the Western Wildcats along with Connor Fessler. Fessler's the 6'3 senior, Abney the 6'1 senior. Fessler and Abney in for the first time as the Tornadoes have the basketball. High above his head, that's Lipkin. Gets it top of the key, Woodward, three, up and good. And just like that, Garrett Woodward's got his first three. It's out to an eight-point Tornado lead, largest of the ball game. Into the front court comes the Wildcat squad into the hands of Abney. Abney looks to get it off to somebody. Finally does as a pass deflected by Lipman, but Mason Smith tracks it down. Left wing, that's Tobias. Shot fake, puts it on the floor. Gets it to Ross, who attacks the basket. Shot for him is up. Rolls around the rim, no good. Myers with the rebound, and he'll be fouled on the rebound by Jed Abney. That's going to be Abney's first team foul, number three. 4.05 to play. Myers is a 6'3 junior, and you're going to see him bring the ball across the time stripe. He gets it right wing to McAllister, top of the key to Lipman, who finds a backdoor cut from Wyatt. Lipman's layup is up and good. Lipman's got five. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take it to 16 6. Griggsville Perry on top. 3.53 to play. First quarter action. It's another Adams Network timeout. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. 
Well, Coach Reese Dunker used his second timeout already of the first quarter, 3.50 to play here in first quarter action. His Wildcat squad trailing 16-6 to as Griggs Hill Perry on an 11-0 run. And Wildcats will get the ball inbounds to Tobias as Griggsville Perry looks to pick up full court. A little bit of a different defense here for Griggsville Perry is instead of their patented 2-3, they've switched to a man-to-man defense. And Western having a little bit of trouble adjusting to that, not expecting that man defense here. And the ball was going to be deflected out of bounds off the tornado, so it'll be Wildcat basketball. Ross will be the trigger man in front of the Griggsville Perry fans. He gets it inbounds to Fessler. That's right wing to Ross. And pass is going to be stolen away by Wyatt Lipman, who gets Dane McAllister attacking the bucket. Shot for him is no good, but he's going to be fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Be the fourth foul of the quarter against the Wildcats. So Griggsville Perry will shoot two shots the remainder of the quarter. Again, a new rule this year. Five fouls leads to the automatic two shots as McAllister's first was up and good. Real and Twine located just north of, Pit- north of Pittsfield across from the airport. Real and Twine is your local headquarters for concrete, lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. Stop by and see them or call 217-285-5013 for Real and Twine. McAllister got them both. Griggsville Perry up 12 and still with that full court defense back there. Wildcats need to get it across the time stripe and finally do as Abney crossed it and then he throws pass stolen away by Myers. Gets it front court. Wyatt lifts one shot up and good. Wyatt Lipkeman's got seven. It's a 14-point tornado lead. Into the front court comes Western. That is Tobias, and he's going to be fouled by McAllister, I believe is who they'll get. Be the first foul of the quarter against the Tornadoes. That'll be McAllister's first. Back in for Western is Vincent. And also checking back into the ballgame is Luke Weir. So two starters back in. For the Wildcats, they'll have their original five out on the floor. Mason Smith gets the inbounds pass, gets it out top to Weir. Going to look to set up the offense. It's Griggsville Perry into the 2-3 pass. It's going to be stolen away by Lane Lipkin. He'll take it coast to coast, shot up and good. He's got six. It's a 16-point Griggsville Perry lead with 2.30 to play. Another turnover against the Wildcats. Wyatt Lipkin to Lane Lipkin. He's got another two. And Reese Dunker's got to take his third timeout of the quarter. Griggsville Perry, 24, Western, 6, 2.45 to play, first quarter action. It's another Adams Network timeout. I have to speak to you about something that is uh, concerning me. Heard you and your mother talking about this Arlo fella. You're dating someone? Yeah. Dad, Arlo's the name of the new security cameras that we got from our service provider. Mm. Arlo's not a boy. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, not a boy. Apparently, we just learned that it's a camera named after a boy. Why don't you name it Peter? Griggsville Perry on a 19-0 run here in the first quarter. During that timeout, we see Logan Fensick check into the ballgame for the first time. Fensick's the 6'5 junior. Taking a seat in this one will be Dane McAllister as the Wildcats pass was deflected in the backcourt and out of bounds, so it'll be Wildcats basketball inbounding in front of their own bench. Fessler finally gets it into the backcourt to Tobias. Tobias is going to attack the basket. Shot up, no good. Myers with the rebound for Griggsville Perry. Still has it, pushes it into the front court, gets it to a trailing Lane Lipkman. Put the three-pointer up, no good. Rebound came down into the hands of Weir. That's his first. And coming into the front court for the Wildcats, That is Ross with the basketball. He gets it out top to Smith. Smith gets it to Tobias looking to get him into an offense. It's Weir. Weir brings it back out to the time stripe. Still has the dribble, uses a screen from Smith, gets it right wing. That's to Ross who finds Tobias, free throw line extended. Shot attempt for him was no good. Garrett Woodward tries to track down the rebound, but stepped on the inbounds line before he could save it so it'll be Wildcats basketball 24-6 Griggsville Perry with the lead 157 to play here first quarter action as the trigger man for the Wildcats will be Dylan Ross the junior gets it into Vincent out top to Smith Smith knocked down two threes quickly in the first quarter Griggsville Perry's locked him down since as on the other side Tobias three-point attempt no good offensive rebound 
for Russ. And then Myers with a rebound for Greg Joe Perry. He's going to be fouled in the backcourt. So he'll go to the other end to shoot two as the Wildcats now have five-plus team fouls in the first quarter. Tobias whistled for his second foul of the ball game. Myers at the line, the lone starter without a point yet, taking just a couple of shot attempts here. Myers' first free throw attempt is up and good. Pike County Express, your local family-owned newspaper, serving Pike County since 1991. Check it out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. Rory Phillips checks into the ball game for the first time for the Tornadoes. Phillips, the 6'2 senior. On the other side, Fessler back into the ball game for the Wildcats as Myers knocks them both down. And it's a 26-6 Griggsville Perry lead. Into the front court comes Tobias. Still at the dribble. Shot attempt for him is no good. Myers with the rebound, his fourth. He's off to the races. Gets it front court. Wyatt Lipkum in a reverse layup. Up and good. Wyatt's got nine, and just like we talked about in the pregame show, a couple of early buckets for Wyatt Lipkin might be what gets him going. He's got nine points, and Western's got another turnover in the backcourt. That's their tenth turnover of the first quarter. Into the ballgame for the first time for the Wildcats is the 5'9 sophomore, Boston Hall. Grigsville Perry's going to look to set up a half-court offense. They haven't had to do that much tonight. As Wyatt Lipkin has it, now it's Lane Lipkin out. Free throw line, volleyball line. Gets it left wing to Fensick. Fensick gets it to Wyatt Lipkin, who's cutting one dribble. Back out top to Fensick. Gets it top of the key to Lipkin. Finds Phillips, free throw line extended. Gets it left wing to Lipkin. Shot attempt for him on the dribble is no good. Phillips ties in for the rebound, but then throws the ball away after that. Into the front court, Smith with, with it. Gets it to Hall up top with 45 to play. Hall being guarded by Lipkin out top, picks up his dribble, gets it to Smith, free throw line extended, ball knocked away on the dribble, or on the drive, going to be tracked down by Fessler, who's then going to be fouled on the tie-up. They will whistle Phillips for his first foul of the ball game. Underneath the basket for Western, Ross will inbound. He gets it right corner, that's to Fessler. Fessler almost loses it. Tracks it down, gets it to Hall, puts it on the floor. Shot attempt for him is up. No good. Rebound comes down into the hands of Fessler, who's then going to go to the line to shoot two after being fouled by Phillips on the shot attempt. Fessler will go to the line for two shots. His team has experienced a 23-0 run against them as the Wildcats had a 6-5 lead, now trailing 28-6. First free throw attempt for Fessler is no good. Pike County Concrete, when you need concrete for your next job, give Pike County Concrete a call. 217-285-5548, Pittsfield and Jacksonville. Second one from Fessler is up off the back of the rim. No good. Phillips with the rebound. Gets it to Lipkin, who's going to cross the time stripe. Gets it to the other Lipkin, to Myers. Back out top, Lane Lipkin. Going to try to hold for one as it's 15 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Gregsville Perry with the 28-6 lead. Normally the Tornadoes will look to do something about the nine-second mark. Wyatt Lipkin's going to put it on the floor. Shot attempt for him is no good. Mason Smith gets the rebound for Gregsville Perry. Then he'll be fouled by Wyatt Lipkin. That's going to be Lipkin's first. Team foul number four. Smith had the third, second rebound of the ball game there. As for the Wildcats, Ross is going to inbound, looking to get it in. Finally does to Smith. Going to take one dribble. Half-court shot's not going to make it. And that'll do it after one quarter. Griggsville Perry 28, Western 6. We're back in a minute. Chris Nichols, managing broker and owner of PCRE Real Estate and Auction, has over 15 years of experience specializing in selling hunting and recreational properties and farmland. Chris prides himself on combining buyers and sellers, both local and from around the country, to help both parties achieve their land investment goals. Chris takes the time to walk clients through the process of selling their property from start to finish, making the experience feel seamless and enjoyable. Contact Chris Nichols and PCRE Real Estate and Auction at 217-473-3777. Welcome back to live action here on Central Illinois Sports. It is 28 to 6. Visual Perry leading Western here on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction scoreboard. PC Real, PCRE Real Estate and Auction Inc. is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois or Northeastern Missouri. 
If you're looking to buy, sell, or auction farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property, you have come to the right place. Learn more at PCREalEstate.com or call 217-285-5800. Well, Grigsville Perry jumped out to the quick 5-0 lead. Then two Mason Smith threes gave the Wildcats the lead before Grigsville Perry closed the quarter on a 23-0 run. Tornadoes will have the basketball to start the second quarter, and we'll have a quick foul against the Wildcats as it'll be their first team foul of the quarter. Boston Hall's whistled for his first. Into the front court, Medane McAllister is going to streak back door, get the back door lob. McAllister shot up and good. He's got six. It's a 24-point lead for Grigsville Perry. Into the front court. Smith got it to Vincent. Vincent couldn't control it. It's a turnover against Western. They're 11th. Into the front court comes Lipman. Gets it to White, who gets it to McAllister, who's going to look to get it to somebody to get him into an offense. Finally finds Wyatt Lipman out top to Lane Lipman, who looks to set the Tornadoes into a half-court offense. McAllister out top to White. Gets it right wing to Lane Lipman, who then finds McAllister. Shot up for him. Up and good. He's got eight. And this is a best we've seen this Griggsville Perry Tornado squad play this season as White deflects the pass in the backcourt, goes out of bounds. It will remain Western basketball. On the court for the Tornadoes, Wyatt and Lane Lipman, Eli White, Michael Myers, and Dane McAllister, so the original starters for the Tornadoes. For the Wildcats, you've got the trigger man Dylan Ross, <laughs> Tobias, Smith, Vincent, and Abney for Reese Dunker's squad. Smith gets it across the time stripe to Tobias. Tobias finally gets it to Abney. Abney thought about the shot, takes it, ball's deflected, gets his own rebound, and then it comes down into the hands of Wyatt Lipman. Lipman gets it to Dane McAllister, attacking the basket, jump stop, layup, good. McAllister's got 10, and Western's gonna take another timeout. 34-6, Griggsville Perry with the lead. 6.37 to play, first half action. It's another Adams Network timeout. If you have that drive and you want to do more with God, then there's opportunity there for you to do that. That's not the typical job that you would expect it to be. Like, it's just super fulfilling. When my life needed opportunity, I chose God. Welcome back, and we're going to see if Tim Hall has got the Northwestern Mutual replay. And just like that, we see Dane McAllister take it to the bucket and somewhere Charlie Hall shed a tear that baby boy Tim just put the Northwestern Mutual instant replay together right there. Tim doing a great job for us. And Tim will be one of the guys helping to, you, helping to bring you 24 basketball games, class seven. So seventh grade state championship action, classes one through four, and Central Illinois Sports will be there to cover all of it. Smith gets the basketball for the Wildcats in the backcourt, gets it to Tobias, picks up his dribble, and gets it to Ross. Ross gets it back to Smith, crosses the half-court line. He's in a double team, finally gets it off to Ross. Ross being doubled again. Myers and McAllister doing a nice job there, but then use the hands there, and they are going to be whistled for the foul. And it's going to go against McAllister, so that'll be McAllister's second. First team foul of the quarter against the Tornadoes. Ball inbounds to Vincent. He loses it, tracks it down, gets it out top to Ross. One dribble, picks it up, then gets it right wing to Tobias. Tobias brings it out top. Ball deflected away. Tobias runs it down, and then whistled for the foul will be Lane Lipkeman for the Tornadoes. That'll be his first, second team foul of the quarter. 6.09 to play here. Check that, 6.08 to play first half action on the PCRE real estate and auction scoreboard. Mason Smith gets the ball for the Wildcats into the front court to Tobias. Skips it left wing, that's Smith. Back to Tobias. Smith and Tobias playing a little pitch and catch. As Tobias just barely holds the pivot foot, guts it to Smith, who's then going to be fouled by Wyatt Lipkin. As Lipkin's gonna be called for the reaching foul. That'll be his second. Woodward's going to check back in for Griggs O'Perry. Wyatt Lipkeman takes a seat with those two fouls. Lipkeman has nine points here in the first half, so a good showing from him so far in the first quarter, so the first ten minutes of the ball game. Smith will inbound for the Wildcats. He gets it to Ross, crosses the time stripe with 5.50 to play. 
Ross hands it off to Tobias, then uses the screen from Abney. Takes it to the bucket. Shot attempt from Ross is up and no good. Dane McAllister, the rebound for Griggsville Perry. Gets it to Woodward. Woodward crosses the time stripe, gets it to White. Then White looks to get it to Lane Lipkman. He's going to put it on the floor, give it off left wing. Myers still has his dribble to Lipkman. Out top to McAllister. McAllister still has it on the floor. Nice spin move, kicks it left wing. Myers thought about the three, doesn't take it. Puts it on the floor, gets it to White. Out top to Woodward, to McAllister. Right wing White to Myers. Three-pointer up and good. Michael Myers with his first bucket of the night. Knocked down two free throws earlier. And Griggsville Perry's got the 37-6 lead with five minutes to play, first half action. Into the front court, Western with the turnover. Myers has the steal, still has it, pushes it into the front court, gets it to Lipkin, attacking the bucket. Got in amongst the big guys, pulled it out, gets it to Myers, three-pointer up and good. Myers has got eight, and Griggsville Perry leads by 34. In the backcourt, Tobias picks up the dribble, gets it to Ross, who gets it to Abney. Pass skipped across court. Nice job by Smith to track it down. He's got the dribble. He'll attack the bucket and draw the foul on Lane Lipkman. So it'll be Lipkman second. So the only thing Coach Garrett White can be upset about right now is the fact that his team has four fouls here in the second quarter as they've got the 40-6 to six lead. Wyatt Lipkman checks back in with his two fouls. Lane Lipkman will have a seat with 427 to play in first half action. Into the front court for Wildcats is Connor Fessler. He gets it out top. That's to Ross. Back to Tobias. To Ross. Back to Tobias. Long three-point attempt is no good. Eli White with the rebound for Griggsville Perry. That's White's second. He'll get it to Lipkin. He's going to push it front court. Left wing Myers three up. No good. Offensive rebound almost controlled by Lipkin. Instead, coming away with it is Dylan Ross with his third rebound. He gets it to Tobias. Front court action. And Tobias is going to be fouled on the drive. It's going to be a two-shot foul no matter what as it's the fifth foul of the quarter against the Tornadoes. Fensic will check in after the first free throw from Tobias, who was fouled on the drive by Dane McAllister. So that's his third. Tobias' first free throw attempt is up and good. Waters Concrete, Tim Waters offers quality concrete for your new build, driveways, decorative patios, sidewalks, anything with concrete. Waters Concrete is ready to serve you. Phone 309-252-1052 309-252-1052 for Waters Concrete. Tobias gets them both to go. John Hops Harris tuning in on uh, Central Illinois Sports tonight for this one, a frequent viewer of Central Illinois Sports. Into the front court for the Tornadoes. Fensick gets it out top to Lipkin, puts it on the floor, kicks it right wing, three-point attempt from Fensick. No good. Meyer skies high for the offensive rebound. He'll pull it out. Looks to reset. Gets it out top to Woodward. Three-point attempt for him. No good. Fensick with the offensive rebound. His first gets it to Lipkin. Three-point attempt. No good. Rebound's going to be tipped out and controlled by Woodward. Woodward gets it to Lipkin. He's going to put it on the floor. Attacks the bucket. And Lane's got another two. He's got ten with 3.20 to play here in the first half. Western has the basketball. They get it into the front court. That's to Abney. Abney pulls up. Shot is no good. Myers has the rebound knocked out. Knocked out of bounds, so it'll be Tornado basketball. 3.11 to play here in the first half. As into the ball game comes Smith. Taking a seat for the Wildcats will be Dylan Ross. Lipkin, Lipkin, Myers, Woodward, and Fensick on the floor right now for the Tornadoes. Lipkin gets it right wing for Myers. His three-point attempt is up and good. So Michael Myers knocks down quick three quick threes, and his team's got the 45-8 lead. So this 37-point lead is their largest of the ball game. Flint Kirk will check back in on the next dead ball for the Tornadoes. As into the front court for Western was Orion Bowen. Bowen had his first three-point attempt of the night. Griggsville Perry got the rebound and then finds a streaking Wyatt Lipkin to the basket. So he's got another two, give him 11. Bowen for the Wildcats is the six-foot freshman. He's seeing action for the first time as Tobias puts up a two on this side for the Wildcats. Rebound comes down to Wyatt Lipkin. He gets it front court, Lane Lipkin. Myers, three-pointer up, no good. He'll get his own offensive board. And look to reset the offense. Gets it right wing to Fensick. Fensick's three-pointer is no good. Fessler with the board for the Wildcats. 
Into the front court is Tobias. He gets it out top to Smith, just under two to play, first half action. Smith to Bowen, who finds at the free throw line a Wildcat who kicks it out. Tobias' three was no good. Fensick gets his third board of the game. Gets it to Lipman, who pushes it front court, and on the drive, ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Possession will remain with Griggsville Perry. Kirk into the ball game for the Tornadoes. Flint Kirk is the six-foot junior. As back into the game for the Wildcats, Luke Weir. Myers will be the inbound man for Griggsville Perry. He gets it to Lipman out top with a minute 40 to play. Lipman still has the dribble. Gets it to Meyer out top to Fensick. One dribble back to Myers who get it out top to Lipkman. That's Lane Lipkman. He'll look to get the Tornadoes into an offense. He gets it right wing to Myers, brings it out top, Fensick. Left wing Wyatt Lipkman uses the screen from Fensick. Hesitation dribble, shot up and good. Wyatt Lipkman's got 13. And Griggsville Perry's lead just continues to grow. As into the front court comes Smith. Smith gets it left wing. That's to Tobias who's going to be fouled on the drive. So Tobias will go to the line to shoot two after being fouled by Logan Fensick. Tobias has knocked down his two free throw attempts in this one. His only two points of the contest. He has 1-11 to play here in the first half. First attempt from Tobias is going to find its way down. LSSD trucking in 3D leasing. Phone 217-285-2808. Trucking for all your needs. See the Dunham boys and the professional team. The Dunham boys sitting right next to Steve Dunham. We're going to let him take over the microphone here if somebody wants to pay enough money to allow him to do so. As Tobias knocks down his second free throw attempt, give him four. Into the front court, Griggsville Perry, a quick sideline break, finds Flint Kirk to the back. It. Kirk's got his first two, and Western trails 51-10 with a minute to play in the first half. As Tobias will attack the basket, and Rory Phillips, Going to be whistled for his third foul. Phillips kind of has a target on his back tonight as he's got three fouls in about three minutes of action for the Tornadoes. Nice to see Phillips back out this year after taking a year off from basketball. And Phillips will give the Tornado squad some valuable minutes throughout the season as Tobias at the line knocks down his first free throw attempt. He's got five points, all of them from the charity stripe. Another free throw from Tobias is good. Griggsville Perry with the basketball and the lead. 55 seconds to play here. First half action. Turnover against the Tornadoes. Therefore, Smith gets it high across the other end. He's going to go up and slam it down. Smith's got eight. And he's got our first dunk of the season that I've seen so far this year. As Myers attacks the bucket. And a nice job by Aaron Vincent to step up and draw the charge against Michael Myers. That'll be a foul against Myers. Turnover against Griggsville Perry. As Phillips will go to the other end. Phillips will check out with those three fouls. Woodward back in with 39 seconds to play in the half. Don't want Phillips to pick up another foul here. As into the timeline for Griggsville Perry, or for Western is Smith. He gets it to Tobias. Left wing picks up his dribble. Pass is deflected, knocked out of bounds off the hands of Wyatt Lipquin. So it'll be Wildcats basketball. 51-14 Tornadoes on top, 28.6 seconds to play in the first half. Tobias will inbound, gets it to Weir out top at the volleyball line. Weir picks up his dribble, gets it to Tobias, free throw line, one dribble, shot up and no good. He's going to be fouled on the shot by Flint Kirk. So it'll send Tobias back to the line where he's got six points on six for six shooting. It'll be... At the line, Case and Tobias, 21.2 seconds to play in the half. First one from Tobias is good. Damon Eric at Gravers Bank is here to help you with your auto, residential, and commercial loans needs. Call Damon at 217-285-4404. Tobias, one shot remaining, and his shot is in and out, no good. Woodward skies high for the rebound for Griggs Perry. Into the front court for the Tornadoes is Wyatt Lipquin. He's going to try to hold for one shot as Griggsville Perry is approaching the 10-second mark. Woodward or Wyatt gets it to Myers backdoor lob. McAllister shot up and good. Dane's got 12, and that'll be how our first half ends. 53-15, Griggsville Perry the lead over Western after one half of play. We'll come back after these to get you set for halftime stats on the Little Jess Motors halftime show. We're back after this. 
Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon Boys. To get it right the first time, no job too big. Have you seen Brayden and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, couldn't resist. Call Brayden at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon Plumbing, recommended by our family for your family. Camp Point Central Sports are proud to have Dewester Grain as a sponsor of this broadcast. Dewester Grain, there for you for all your grain and feed needs. Why don't you give them a call and check out all the locations of Dewester Grain? With locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Western Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. That's why we know what it takes to succeed both on your balance sheet and in your life. It takes the right financial partner who looks at where you are now and where you want to go and design a financial plan to take you there so you can achieve the life you're after today and every day after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Sheila Davidsmeyer today. Her office is located at 311 West Washington in Pittsfield, Illinois. Or visit SheilaDavidsmeyer.nm.com, the Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert truck and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. Press Yours On You would like to wish all the area teams the best of luck this year. If you're looking to get your team shirts or just looking for spirit wear for yourself, remember Press Yours On You. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space in our shop. Stop by and see us and check out our offerings. Business lets us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. Thank you to everyone in our community for the support over the last 16 years. Thank you for supporting local. Press Yours On You, 506 Westwood. Camp Point, Illinois. At Game Masters in Quincy, we're passionate about the outdoors. Game Masters has the perfect gifts for this holiday season. Come in and check out all of the great gift ideas like hunting accessories, clothing, gun safes, guns and bows. Let Game Masters help you with your holiday shopping. Go to GameMastersOutdoors.com to check out the selection. And don't forget gift cards for those hard to buy loved ones. Clothing, fishing, hunting, gifts, and more. Game Masters and Quincy. We're passionate about the outdoors. As a new hunting season begins, we observe a species most rare, the hunter incompetus. The hunting ritual begins. Already, he stakes his claim by bringing a duck call to a deer hunt. Disaster strikes. A devastating blow to a long-suffering species. There may be no helping the hunter incompetus, but for everyone else, no other place has it all like farm and home supply. Tell my mom to pick me up soon. Welcome to the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Little Jess, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Quincy, Illinois. It's your place to go for your next vehicle purchase. Their staff is committed to making the car buying service process simple and making sure each customer's needs are satisfied. Learn more at littlejessmotor.com or stop by and see them at 3431 Main Street in Quincy. Well, at the half, Grigsville Perry with the 53-15 lead over the Western Wildcats. Grigsville Perry had the 28-6 lead after one, including a 19-0 run to close out the first quarter of play. Western has had one lead in this ballgame. They led 6-5. Grigsville Perry has led by as many as 41 points. Western Excuse me, we had two lead changes in the ballgame, no ties. First half of play, Western had 12 turnovers, 10 of those coming in the first quarter. No real foul problems for Western. Has only one man with two fouls, as that's Case and Tobias, and then Abney, Ross, and Connor Fessler, each with a foul apiece. For the Tornadoes, they had five turnovers, 
in the first half of play. Two guys with three fouls as McAllister and Rory Phillips with three fouls. Two fouls apiece for Wyatt Lipkin and Lane Lipkin for this Griggsville Perry squad. As at the half, Griggsville Perry 53, Western 15 here on the Little Jess Motors halftime show. We're going to take another timeout. When we come back, we'll give you the rest of the first half stats, including shooting percentages and individual scoring. We're back after these. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account. Plus, ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, West Central Illinois, are you looking for a great deal on a vehicle? Well, at West Town Ford, we have a lot full of vehicles, cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. We've got them all and a lot of them at West Town Ford in Jacksonville. Seed selection is one of the important decisions required to achieve yield goals. Logan AgriService represents top seed lines in the industry like Lewis Hybrids, Stein Seed, and AgriGold, and focuses on products developed to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Sit down with one of our experienced local seed experts who will work with you to help select top-producing corn hybrids and soybean varieties tailored for your specific soils and fertility levels. Or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1962. Grab the game while your kids are busy. You know, streaming, gaming, and homework. Now you can teach your kids the value of a dollar by showing bundles with Cascom. Bundle telephone, internet, and TV. Bundle two for a double play or three for a triple play. Plus, save $20 a month for three months for a limited time. Then you can tell everyone how you help them with their math homework. Call Cascom about bundles today at 1-800-252-1799. Cascom at 1-800-252-1799. There's a road that makes all the difference. The difference between the good and the great. A road less traveled for the few who can handle the grind. One of hard work, dedication, integrity, and leadership. With a respect for heritage and tradition and a willingness to adapt. At Little Jess, we travel that road every day because we believe in that difference. And we dare our competition to try and keep up. Little Jess, serving the tri-state area since 1969. Back on a Little Jess Motors halftime show, taking a look at some of the first half stats. First off, for the Western Wildcats, just 3 of 21 from the field for 14%. The Wildcats did shoot 70% from the line in the first half as they were 7 of 10, including Kaysen Tobias being 7 of 8 from the free throw line. Tobias with 7 of the Wildcats points and Mason Smith with, the eight, with 8 points for Western, including throwing down a big two-handed slam. For the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes, they were 22 of 34 from the field in the first half of play and 5 for 5 from the charity stripe. Scoring in the first half for the Tornadoes, Eli White with two points along with Flint Kirks two, Garrett Woodward with three points, 10 points for Lane Lipkin, 11 for Michael Myers, 12 points for Dane McAllister, and Wyatt Lipkin led the Tornadoes in the first half with 13 points as they cruised out to a 53-15 halftime lead over this Western Wildcat squad. Tim, obviously not the first half that Coach Reese Dunker was wanting, and obviously things are going to have to go pretty much perfect if this Wildcat squad were going to win tonight. But right now it's about pride. What do you think that halftime message was for Coach Dunker to this squad? Well, I think it was just trying to inch back piece by piece by piece because I don't see a uh, 30 looks like 38 point basket anywhere um, so you want to just keep on scoring those twos those threes those free throws inch back until you're about even or close enough that you can compete and have a chance to win this game yeah I mean the reality of it is is it's probably not going to be a contest that you're going to win the way it, it looks right now but you can win the second half and you got to take take Victories where you can get them, and a little bit of a moral victory if this Wildcat squad can come out and win the second half against Griggsville Perry, and we're underway. For the Wildcats to inbound, it'll be Ross. He gets it to Tobias, being closely guarded by White. Out there with Vincent. 
Weir and Smith. Tobias at the free throw line. Turnaround jumper for him is no good. White with the rebound for Grigsville Perry. Gets it to Lipkin. Lipkin's going to push it to a streaking Dane McAllister. Shot for him is no good. Smith with the rebound for the Wildcats. He'll bring it into the front court. Picks up his dribble three-pointer up and off the front of the rim. No good. Tobias gets the offensive rebound for Western. He'll take a three-pointer shot up for him. Is no good. McAllister with the rebound for Grigsville Perry. McAllister's going to bring it into the front court, and then he'll get it off to Lipman. He'll put it on the floor, attack the bucket, hands it off to Eli White. Nice shot fake by him. They're going to be say he was fouled on the floor. That's one of the best moves I've seen Eli White make in his basketball career. He's been more aggressive on the offensive end. Last year, Eli never looked to score, and if he can put up four to six points a game for Garrett White's squad, he'll be okay as Myers is going to be whistled for the travel. I think that might have been a little bit more of an anticipation call as Myers put it on the floor, and the ref gives a little bit of smirk to the crowd there as he knows it. But turnover against the Tornadoes, and then they'll have a steal. That's a turnover against the Wildcats. Lipkum into Lipkum. Shot attempt, no good. Wyatt Lipkum with the rebound. Gives it to Myers. His two is up and good. He's got 13. And into the front court comes Western. Smith has the ball deflected. Tracks it down to Weir. Gets it to Tobias. Baseline reverse layup, no good. Smith, offensive rebound, shot up and no good. Rebound's going to be fought for... Tobias and Myers will tie it up, and possession will go to Grigsville Perry. Fifty-five, fifteen. Grigsville Perry has the lead. Six forty to play here, third quarter action. Lane Lipkin will bring the ball across the time stripe for the Tornadoes. Gets it left wing to McAllister, back out top to Lipkin to Lipkin. Finds McAllister streaking across. Nice spin move towards the bucket. Shot is no good, but he's going to be fouled on the shot. And McAllister will go to shoot two. Tim, you know, for for Griggsville Perry, you know what you're going to get a lot of nights. But for them, if Dane McAllister can come out and play with this aggression, he may not always score this many points, but if he can come out and play with this type of aggression, this is going to be an even more dangerous Griggsville Perry squad. Yeah, and whenever you have a guy like Dane McAllister who – was probably a five, six point score last year. He could score 10, 11 points per game. I mean, you're going to be a very, very dangerous team on the offensive side. McAllister missed them both. Weir got the rebound to Smith, who came into the front court to Tobias. Tobias' pass is stolen away. Turnover against the Wildcats. As Lipkin into the front court to McAllister, he gets it back to Lipkin. Right wing, McAllister thought about the three, doesn't take it, puts it on the floor. Shot for him, no good. Vincent with the rebound for Western. Gets it to Weir, who gets it to Smith. One dribble, picks it up to Weir. Left wing, Tobias finds Smith, cutting to the bucket. Puts it on the floor. He'll put the shot up, and it is no good. Vincent with the offensive rebound, and then it'll be stolen away. Turnover against Western. Into the front court, Lipkman. He'll fight through contact, shot up, and good. So Wyatt Lipkman's got another two. He's got 15. As Logan Fensick will check in for Griggsville Perry on the next dead ball. Weir gets it to, that's to Ross. His shot attempt, no good. McAllister loses the rebound as Ross gets the offensive rebound and he'll be fouled on the shot. So Dylan Ross isn't quitting out there. Nice job by him to track down the rebound there, the loose ball, and get fouled on the shot. White's going to be whistled for his first. So Ross at the line for Western looking for his first point of the night. Unable to convert there. Western will see Fessler and Boston Hall check back in. On the other side, Woodward and Fensick for the Tornadoes. As at the line, it's Dylan Ross, the 5'10 junior. His second free throw attempt is up and good. Into the front court for the Tornadoes. Three-pointer is no good. Offensive rebound to Woodward. Woodward will bring it out top. Gets it left wing to Wyatt Lipman. He'll attack the basket. Shot for him is up and good. He's got another two. And Grigsville Perry has their largest lead of the night at 43. Up top for the Wildcats, it's Ross. Gets it left wing to Hall. Hall tried to feed it down low to Fessler. Fessler couldn't grab it, and it'll be a turnover on the Wildcats. 
Greg Perry right now really just needs to lock in and focus on a half-court offense, really take their time. But we'll see Wyatt Lipman take the three. It's going to be no good. Rebound knocked away from Smith, but Ross with the rebound for Western. He'll get it to Smith. He'll bring it into the half-court line. Pass is going to be deflected, go through the hands of Fessler, but then he'll track down the ball and throw it out of bounds off Myers. It'll be Western basketball. Abney into the ball game for the first time as – to trigger for Western, it'll be Dylan Ross. He'll get it out top to Hall. Hall will look to set up an offense against the Tornadoes. Gets it right wing Smith. Three point on the way up, and it'll be no good. It will go off the back or above the backboard. It'll be out of bounds. Griggsville Perry basketball. Lipkin will bring it across the time stripe. That's Wyatt with 4.20 to play in the first half. Gets a screen from Fensick, then gets it right wing Myers. Top of the key, Fensick. Left wing, Lipkin on the floor, kicks it right wing, three-point Myers up, and no good. Woodward knocks the ball out of bounds. It will be Tornado, or excuse me, Wildcats basketball as we approach the halfway point of the third quarter. Hall gets it, left wing Smith. He'll put up a three. Shot for him is up and good. That'll put Mason Smith into the double-figure column for the night as he's got 11. Lipman into the front court for Griggsville. Perry gets it to Woodward. Left corner, that's Wyatt Lipman back out top to Lane Lipman. Pass is going to be knocked away and then stolen away. Turnover against Griggsville Perry. And then a turnover against the Wildcats. Myers with the steal. He'll push front court. Ball's going to be knocked away. Myers tracks it down. And then he's going to be fouled. I think they're going to get Connor Fessler on that one. That'll be his second. Myers will be the inbound man underneath his own bucket. Lobs it in to Fensick. Fensick will pull it out. Gets it right wing Myers. Thought about the three. Doesn't take it out. Top to Lipkin. Back to Fensick. He'll hand it off to Myers. He'll put it on the floor and he'll be fouled on the drive. And that'll be Mason Smith that they whistle for that one. That'll be his first. Be the third team foul of the quarter against Western. And it'll be Tornado basketball underneath their own basket. Lane Lipkman will inbound. Looking to get it in. The pass is going to be knocked away and stolen away. Turnover against Griggsville Perry. Into the front court comes Ross for this Wildcat squad. Picks up his dribble, then gets it off to Hall. One dribble left wing to Abney. Abney puts it on the floor, attacks the bucket, kicks it out top to Smith. He'll look to reset the offense with 310. His pass is going to be deflected off the hands of Myers, and it'll be Wildcat basketball at 307 to play. They'll inbound in front of their own basket, and Smith will track the ball down into his backcourt. And he crosses the time stripe, gets it to Hall. Nice job by Hall cutting in the middle open lane right there. Couldn't get the shot to go. Woodward with the rebound for Griggs Hill Perry. Into the front court, gets it to Lipman, who'll get it to Myers. His shot is up and good. He's got 15. And then Western is going to lose the ball on the other end. That'll be a turnover against the Wildcats. And we'll see check back into the ball game for Griggsville or for Western. That will be Connor Fessler as Lipman comes into the front court for Griggsville. Perry gets it to Myers. He'll put it on the floor. Attack the bucket. He's got another two. Give him 17. And that's 44-point lead is now the largest of the ballgame for Griggsville Perry. As Smith will put up the three on the other end for Western, it's no good. Woodward gets the rebound. He'll push it into the front court and find an open lane Lipkin for another two. And then that'll have Coach Reese Dunker take his final time out of the ballgame. 65-19, Griggsville Perry on top of Western. It's another Adams Network timeout. I have to speak to you about something that is uh, concerning me. Heard you and your mother talking about this Arlo fella. You're dating someone? Yeah. Dad, Arlo's the name of the new security cameras that we got from our service provider. Mm. Arlo's not a boy. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, not a boy. Apparently, we just learned that it's a camera named after a boy. Why don't you name it Peter? 
if you have that drive and you want to do more with that, then there's opportunity there for you to do that. It's not the typical job that you would expect it to be. Like, it's just super fulfilling. When my life needed opportunity, I chose DOT. Welcome back to live action here on Central Illinois Sports. It is 65-19 here on live action. Uh, Western has beaten, wait, nope, nope, wrong way. Grigsville Perry has beaten Western. And Grigsville Perry with the lead, 65-19 PCRE Real Estate Auction. Real Estate and Auction Inc. scoreboard as Western with the basketball. Two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Abney with it, gets it left wing. That's to Hall. Hall tried to kick it out top to Smith. Ball was going to be deflected and out of bounds. Checking into the ball game for the first time for Grigsville Perry during that timeout was the 5'10 junior Braden Lister. Also into the contest for the first time for the Tornadoes, the 5'9 freshman Brody Rush. Hall with it, gets it right wing, Tobias. His shot attempt is up and no good. Myers with the rebound for Grigsville Perry. Hill pushes into the front court, gets it to Fensick. Fensick will attack the bucket. Shot's going to be blocked by Abney. Mason Smith with the rebound, and he'll push it into the front court for the Wildcats. His shot attempt is no good. Another rebound comes down to Myers. Pass is then going to be deflected, stolen away, turnover against the Tornadoes. And then getting his first two points of the night for Western will be Jed Abney. Into the front court, Fensick put the three up. Ball was no good, and then Braden Lister is going to knock the ball out of bounds. Phillips will be back in for Grigsville Perry. Fensick will take a seat. And it will be Wildcats basketball, a minute 20 to play here in the third quarter. Case and Tobias brings it across the time stripe, gets it to Hall, left wing to Abney. Abney kicks it, skips it cross court to Tobias, out top to the Smith, ball almost stolen away. Right wing Tobias, thought about the three, doesn't take it. Hall will take it instead. Rebound comes down to Lister. So Braden Lister with his first rebound of the ball game. Into the front court, it goes to Myers. Lipkin tracks down the pass, gets it to Myers, who will take the three, and Myers has got 20. As it's a 68-21 Grigsville Perry lead. Smith into the front court for Western. He's going to get it to Hall. Hall will get it down to Vincent. Vincent will be fouled, so it will be basketball with the Wildcats as Phillips is whistled for the foul. That's his fourth with 37 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Second foul of the quarter against Grigsville Perry. To inbound, it will be Tobias. And he looks to get in, finally gets it into Abney, gets it back to Tobias, kicks it out top. That's Weir. Weir pass deflected, stolen away, turnover against Western. Phillips with the steal. He'll get it to Lipkin, who'll press it into the front court to rush. Back to Lipkin, that's Wyatt Lipkin. Also out on the floor right now for the first time in this quarter is Flint Kirk. So it's Lipkin, Rush, Phillips, Kirk, and Lister as the Tornadoes hold for one with 12 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Wyatt Lipkin with it. He'll look to use the screen. And Western did a nice job there to rush the screen. Almost stole it away, but it'll be ball out of bounds off the hands of Mason Smith. Into the ball game for Western is the 6'1 junior, Isaac Covington. Lipkin will be the trigger man for the Tornadoes. He'll get it into Phillips. Phillips gets it to Lipkin, streaking back door, reverse layup, up and good, and that'll do it for three quarters. 70-21, Grigsville Perry on top, back with fourth quarter play-by-play -play after these. Chris Nichols, managing broker and owner of PCRE Real Estate and Auction, has over 15 years of experience specializing in selling hunting and recreational properties and farmland. Chris prides himself on combining buyers and sellers, both local and from around the country, to help both parties achieve their land investment goals. Chris takes the time to walk clients through the process of selling their property from start to finish, making the experience feel seamless and enjoyable. Contact Chris Nichols and PCRE Real Estate and Auction at 217 Four seven three three seven seven seven. Hey, grab me one too.
Welcome back here on Central Illinois Sports. Time for fourth quarter action here between the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes and the Western Wildcats. It will be running clock here in the fourth quarter based upon the margin of lead for the Tornadoes as Griggsville Perry will have their five, they'll have five non-starters out on the floor to start the fourth as Western will have Mason Smith, he'll get it to Tobias. Left wing, that'll be Abney. Shot for him, nice job banking it in. Must be a good geometry student right there as he did not have much room to do so, but Abney's got four. And Griggsville Perry basketball, that'll be Rush. He'll get it into Woodward. Woodward will have it stolen from behind. Smith gets it and he'll go coast to coast and he'll have his second dunk of the night. Give him 13. As into the front court comes Rush. He'll hand it off to Lister. He'll get it to Phillips at the free throw line. Kick it left wing to Woodward. Woodward loses the ball. A turnover against Griggsville Perry. And Tobias got it. Couldn't get the rebound to go. Smith skied high for the offensive rebound. His shot is up and no good. Tobias will put the shot up and no good. But he'll go to the line to shoot two. As Phillips is going to... Foul out of the ball game. So Phillips fifth. Tobias will go to the line to shoot two for Western. He's seven for eight from there. His seven points on the night are from the free throw line. The junior's first shot attempt is up and it is good. Nice job by Case and Tobias at the line here tonight for Reese Dunker squad. He'll have one shot reigning. Two dribbles, shot attempt for him is up and it is good. Give Tobias nine. Brody Rush, the 5'9 freshman, will run the point guard duties here in the fourth quarter for Garrett White's squad. Gets it to Lister, gets it right wing to Woodward and he'll get it out top to Rush. Rush looks to set up the offense. Gets it out top to White who checked in after the fifth foul by Phillips. White can't track it down. It'll be layup up and good for Tobias. So he's got 11. And right now, Griggsville Perry across the time stripe is Woodward. He's going to put it on the floor, attack the bucket. Nobody steps up to stop him. And he'll put it up and in 4-2. Woodward's got five. Into the front court comes Western. Three-point attempt for them is no good. Garrett Woodward will track down the rebound for Griggsville Perry. He'll get it to Rush, who will bring it across the time stripe with 5.20 to play. Rush gets it to Woodward. He'll put it on the floor, attack the bucket, and he will be fouled on the drive as Dylan Ross will be whistled for his second. And it'll be Tornado basketball underneath their own basket. There'll be about five seconds to play on the game clock by the time this one's inbounded. Woodward will be the trigger man for Griggsville Perry. Gets it to Kirk. Out top rush to Lister. Left wing Woodward. Three up and it'll be short. No good. Rebound will be deflected. They'll say it's out of bounds off the Tornadoes. As we'll see a few subs come in for the Wildcats. We'll see Orion Bowen back in. We saw him get a little bit of action in the first half of play. Also back into the ball game is Boston Hall. And then we will see Russell Wibble, the 5'8 senior, check in for the first time as Abney's going to attack the bucket for the Wildcats. He'll lose it, turnover against the Wildcats. Kirk with the steal, gets it to Woodward. He'll push it front court. That's Lister, nice pass to White. And White with another shot fake, and he gets called. They're going to say it was a foul on the floor. So White's had two nice shot fakes in this one. Made the shot afterwards, but each time they said the foul was on the floor. Lister will be the trigger man. He gets it in right wing to Woodward, puts it on the floor, picks up his dribble, and then the ball's going to be kicked. It'll be possession with the Tornadoes with 3.50 to play here in the third quarter. Braden Lister will be the trigger man again for Griggsville Perry. Looks to get it in, gets it right wing to Woodward, doesn't take the three, kicks it out top to Rush instead. He'll get it left wing to White, back out top to Rush, gets it to Lister right wing, puts it on the floor, then gets it out top to Kirk. Kirk has it with three and a half to play, gets it to Woodward, to Lister. Rush holds it high above his head, one dribble, kicks it out top to White, back to Rush, right wing. He'll hand it off to Woodward with 3.20 to play. Woodward will go left wing to Kirk. He'll bring it out top, looks to get it to one of his guards. Instead, he'll find Eli White. White has it with 3.10 to play. He'll put it on the floor, and he'll be fouled on his way to the bucket. 
And it'll be the third foul of the quarter against the Wildcats as we approach the three-minute mark of the contest. Garrett Woodward will be the inbound man here for Grigsville Perry. He finds a cutting Eli White. Shot attempt for him up and no good. Flint Kirk, offensive rebound, can't get it to go. And ball will be tracked down by Boston Hall. And then they're going to say it's a travel in the backcourt. So it'll be Tornado basketball underneath their own basket. Two and a half to play here in the ball game. Gregsville Perry with the 72-29 lead. Lister will be the trigger man. He looks to get it in, gets it to White. He'll put a shot up, fights through contact, gets it to go. And White's got four. Hall into the front court for the Wildcats, gets it to Abney. Abney gets it back out top to Hall, who finds Tobias. Free throw line extended. Shot for him is no good, but... Covington with the rebound for Western. Gets it to Hall. Hall is going to lose his footing, and then ball's going to be thrown out of bounds, but they're going to say it was deflected off of Grigsville Perry. Into the ball game for the first time for Western will be the 6'5 sophomore Damian Orr. Hall will be the trigger man for Western. He looks to get it in, gets it out top to Covington. Covington gets it back to Hall, left wing. He'll bring it out top and then finds Covington cutting to the basket. He'll pull it back out and get it to Bowen. Bowen holds it high above his head, pass the ball's going to be deflected into the backcourt. He'll track it back down and get it to Wibble. Wibble gets it to Hall. Back out top to Bowen, picks up his dribble and gets it to Covington with a minute 15 to play. Hall with it, one dribble, picks it up to Covington, left wing Wibble, thought about the three, doesn't take it. He'll put it on the floor, pick up his dribble, throw it back out top to Hall with a minute to play. Ball will be deflected and stolen away for the Tornadoes. That's Woodward. He's into the front court. He gets it out top to Kirk. Kirk gets it back to Woodward with 50 seconds to play, and we'll see if Grigsville Perry holds for the rest of the game or if they try to get a shot here. White out top to Woodward. One dribble gets it to Lister. Lister will bring it back out top to White, who will hand it to Rush with 35. Corner to Kirk. He'll put it on the floor and then passively deflected. Kirk will track it down and then gets it out top. That's to Rush. Rush back to Kirk. They'll bring it out top to Woodward. He's going to take the three. It's going to be short. Lister does a nice job to track down the offensive rebound. Saved it inbounds to Kirk. Kirk got it back to Lister, who gives it to White, and White's going to hand it to Woodward, and it looks like that's how we'll end it. Ten seconds to play. Grigsville Perry is going to win this one and move to 4-0 on the season as they will win the ballgame by a final score of 74-29. 74-29, Grigsville Perry over Western, and that's going to take us to our Illini Community Hospital postgame show. We'll be back to wrap this one up after these. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project, from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. Are you short on time or budget, but your family is hungry? It's time for the Maya Authentic Mexican Restaurant in Pittsfield. Try the Maya Special, a crowd favorite. Delicious grilled fajitas, steaks, nachos Mexicano, salads in the tortilla bowl, the tastiest salsa and cheese sauce around, and the fastest service anywhere. You can afford it. It's the Maya Mexican Restaurant on Washington Street. Call ahead with your order and you can pick it up in the drive through 217-285-4526. The Maya Restaurant in Pittsfield. Once or twice a year I might get the cold or a flu and my wife calls it the man flu. So <laughs> so you know what that is. Yo, yeah. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. 
One size fits all. That may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217-222-7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. And welcome to the Blessing Health Systems post-game show. Blessing Health System has locations throughout the region to meet the health care needs of your family. From walk-in to primary care, special care, and emergency medicine, Blessing Health System is there to, is here to serve you. Learn more at BlessingHealth.org. Well, Griggsville Perry wins this one by a final score of 74 to 29 over the Western Wildcats. Griggsville Perry was in control pretty much the entire game as they led after one quarter by a score of 28-6. They took a 53-15 lead into the half, led 70-21 after three quarters, and then finished this one with a 74-29 victory. Individual scoring for the Wildcats in this one. Dylan Ross hit a free throw. Jed Abney with four points. Kaysen Tobias with 11 points, and Mason Smith Led the way in the ballgame for the Wildcats with 13 points, highlighted by a pair of dunks in this one. For Griggsville Perry, they were paced in scoring by several throughout the night, and individual scoring looks like this. Flint Kirk with two points, Garrett Woodward with five, Eli White with four points, Lane Lipkeman with 12, Dane McAllister also with 12 points, Wyatt Lipkin with 19, and the Tornadoes were led in scoring in this one by Michael Myers with 20, as once again, Griggsville Perry with the 74-29 victory, and the Tornadoes move to 4-0 early on in this season. Time now to name our Edward Jones, Derek Harris player of the game. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments in time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That is why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game on Central Illinois Sports. And tonight's Player of the Game had several to choose from as Griggsville Perry came out hot and played well from start to finish. But, Tim, we talked about him during the broadcast, and we're going to award tonight's Player of the Game to Dane McAllister as McAllister finishes this ball game with 12 points and came out and was really aggressive on both ends of the floor and that's the kind of player that Garrett White squad needs if they're going to go as far as they'd like to go this season. So congratulations to Dane McAllister, our Derek Harris, Edward Jones player of the game and congratulations to the Griggsville Perry squad on a 74-29 victory. Big weekend ahead for Central Illinois sports as we will have 24, yes, that's right, 24 seventh grade girls basketball games tomorrow. Central Illinois sports, for the first time in our history, will carry the seventh grade 1A through 4A state basketball series. We'll also do that for eighth grade girls and seventh and eighth grade boys. So a great season ahead for Central Illinois sports. We'll start bright and early tomorrow. Games will start at 10 a.m. Most of us will be on the air by 945. It'll be a full day. It'll be an exciting day of basketball. We hope you tune in to join us. But for Tim Hall, I'm Damon Emmerich here calling it a night from the Nick. Griggsville Perry with the 74-29 victory over Western. This has been another Central Illinois sports.